Hello, hello. Welcome to Anything with Annie. Anytime. Anyways. Anyhow. <laughs> Let's get started. Um, so I decided to start this channel because honestly, I think that there is a lack of visibility of Latinx culture within the mental health space. I think that it's not talked about. I think that if anything, it's, you know, shit. I can mean, from my experience alone, when I started wanting to seek out therapy and find help, you know, you get met with the response of, oh, you think you had it bad. You should have seen when I was younger. And, you know, which all experiences, it's relative to the situation. So no judgment. However, we are here to get rid of this taboo around the conversation and just start because I think the most difficult thing to do is to fucking start so this is what I want to help do you know for my community for the people that I love and for anybody that here chooses to tune in so I'm gonna ask you guys to get a notebook to get a pen and just start with me. This is not me saying that I am an expert, because I am not. This is not me saying I have any of the answers, because I do not. This is me hoping that I can be a pit stop to your journey to self. If I can recommend books or artists or people that have helped me find my voice I would love to be able to be a catalyst for change for you so I'm really excited so what we're gonna talk about today basically is just holding space and what is holding space you might ask well let me tell you baby holding space is the ability to be present to listen without judgment or pre and I hear you it's difficult I understand it's hard to hold space you we hear the screaming um, to give yourself the room and the freedom to have your feelings. To give someone else the room and the freedom to have their feelings. So I ask you humbly and politely to please hold space for this channel so that you can hold space for yourselves. So that we can come to a greater understanding of the world around us. It comes a little easier, you know? I think it's important for us to be able to hold space because I believe holding space is a catalyst for acceptance and that becomes the catalyst for change and we all want to become more clear versions of ourselves you know just to have more understanding of our triggers our wants our desires our dreams and so my topic of the day is hold some damn space for yourself so that you can then hold space for the people that you love. It just makes it a little easier. So that's what I do. I'm, the way that I started doing that, the first way that I started holding space for myself was I got myself a journal and I just started writing in it. Whatever I felt, the good, the bad, the beautiful, whatever came to mind. Sometimes it was gibberish. A lot of, I mean, you can tell from just the turning of the page how I felt from one day to the next sometimes it's it's clear and concise and really beautiful and then other times it looks like gibberish you know but I held space for whatever I needed in that moment so that I can grow and come to understanding where I'm at now and I still have a lot of work to I'm to do you know we all do but we're here and we're doing it and I'm excited to do this with you. I'm nervous as hell too. This is my first time venturing into something like this, you know, but I'm giving myself the room and the permission to be bad at something so that I can be good at it, right? I am holding space for myself. So yeah, you guys, I think, I think that's just it. Hold space. I love to hear what you guys think. Um, eventually I, will have speakers here people that i that are experts in subjects that i am not like having a conversation with a camera because clearly i am doing a horrible job at this right now but i am trying my best and i am holding space for it so thank you for being here 
Um, so yeah, I would love for you guys to start journaling and the next time you tune in, I will have a guest speaker. We will have an amazing topic. I am so excited for your journey to self. Mwah. I'll see you guys next time.